Welcome to Wednesday. Hi. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Your only source. No. no. <laughs> there are other sources you can choose from. But That's true. This is your best one. <laughs> and these cats are fighting. We right before I literally I'm, I wish I could just pan this camera over yeah. to the left and we can see mother nature and the nature <laughs> of the animals feline attack. in in its goals and see now they stopped and they're happy again. Yeah. Oh, they're playing. They're brothers. They're all good. <laughs> um so we've got four games today. We're going to be playing. We're going to be playing Shifty Lifty. Uh, RC Sumo Bots, which Ooh. we played recently, but he did an update which balanced out the gameplay a lot more. Question: I yes. played a sumo one, but that was like from Doctor Ian's students, so that's it was probably right. completely different. So it when is. I saw sumo, I was like, "Oh, did I one Same of these one. like prodigal <laughs> sons go and or or ladies? I don't yeah. want to be." gendered but you know one of whoever those students were i was like did they go back and do their sumo they completely unrelated bit, probably yeah. renamed it no yeah. no this is this is a, a totally different game okay and, cool. it's, and it's like a brand new game um but uh we played it a couple days ago actually on the last show but it was very hard to play because one of the players was totally outbalanced and it was just <laughs> question like, mark question mark <laughs> Same yeah. feeling too, man. <laughs> Qu it all why up. are we here? What is going on? <laughs> what are why, we doing? Why are we playing video games in the middle of a pandemic while the world <laughs> is torn apart? Is because why not, friends? You need escape. Isn't That's it? all we got. Uh, we're also going to be playing Blackjack Theta 8. And... Is that a riff on Blackjack the card game? Or yes. is it Blackjack the thing Blackjack... that you smash people over the head over? and they? Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Well, black is that called a blackjack i think so it's like it i was, think it is it's what the it, yeah all all kind of loose bag hard things that you smack somebody in the head with. all i know is that thief, from like the 1800s <laughs> thief one of the first video games that had stealth in it which was a game i had on my computer you could do the entire game using your bow and arrow killing people or you could knock people out with a blackjack unconscious and hide their bodies right. and if you did that using stealth yeah yeah you could get a score because as a thief, you're not supposed to kill everyone. You get the oh. assassin achievement, which is when you murder everybody, <laughs> or you can get like the proper achievement where you just knock everyone out. And that's when I, I was like, what is this blackjack? I remember being 10, <laughs> just playing that game. I have to play cards against them? What? It's a hard fucking game. It's such a good game, though. It was the first time they did stealth mechanics in mm. PC gaming. There might have been stuff before, but they had a light sure. system, so yeah. you would walk in the light and out, and it was 3D, and if oh. you were to like, step on certain surfaces, so it was... The, make noises and you'd be detected if you're in the light. It was so that's involved. That's really cool. And then you think about like what, that's now a thing that oh, is part yeah, of game. A lot of games. But, but that was definitely one of the first ones that had it and had a light meter. So depending on like if you want torches, so you're actually knocking out torches. And, <laughs> like, and you had holy water. It was, the first level was so easy and it was close to impossible beyond <laughs> that. Oh, it's like, and, here's a tutorial and good luck in the real world. Oh yeah. But such a cool game. That yeah. was one of the earliest ones. Oh, wow. So that's how I know about blackjacks. Ah, well, that is not the blackjack. <laughs> this is the card game. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I um, we'll get into how much experience we have with gambling when we get to that. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna be trying for the second level patch of Space Man Splorf, um, because <laughs> the last time we played it, uh, I achieved the first level patch. Um, but not almost the second level, so I, I want to get that. I okay, keep cool. Trying. And I, I was like. It's like at 8,000, and I got like 7,800. Oh, that's so just a lost. troll number, man. I know. It's like, oh, damn it. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Al, you can see them down the side there beside oh, Erlen in I virtual literally space. looked over this way and then... <laughs> reach out and touch them. Yeah, you can see them there scrolling around. Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Captain Classic, Catalog, CD W, Cold Heat 007, Dan AVC Drexel, Dr. Napalm 75, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny E Nitro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc, Metal Lunar 7, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Pack Rat, BG, RC7E, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice S Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Uh, and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Click subscribe, and if you don't see your name on there and you expected to see your name on there, 
your subscription may have run out and it doesn't alert you so you have to click subscribe again and i'm so frustrated with mm. amazon politically but the problem <laughs> uh -huh. is is that when i had to do my taxes every history of every item i bought off of amazon is right there and you can print it off yes. legit receipts you can go yeah. back yeah. forever and yeah. amazon prime they will deliver it in two days and make sure that it gets to you and they will phone you if you're not, like it's so frustrating because i'm like fuck amazon and <laughs> jeff bezos and all this capitalism but then the problem is if i need an item sent to my door it is now the best service <laughs> so it's like fuck man it's... that's part of the problem it's like i would love to be vegan so much but the problem is is leather is so good it's like the best material it's like you can get pleather but the yeah. shoes are gonna fall apart but your leather shoes are the best product skin's, and it's like skin's not a bad product uh, <laughs> it lasts our whole life but yeah I, I don't know if they've come up with one that's like as hard wearing in t long term um yeah your leather boots your leather satchel yeah. your leather fucking saddle still going you know yeah, it's it's difficult to find good alternatives that last long it's the first it's the thing about the world it's like there's a reason why these <laughs> corporations <laughs> dominate because they actually do good yeah. job which yeah. I, I wish wasn't true i wish you know <laughs> wish they did a worse job well yeah no. you know and obviously there's other options and stuff like that but it is that funny thing where like you politically i want to be it's, like I, boycott amazon but it's like uh, is that reasonable <laughs> well yeah people use them because they provide a really good service yep. but you also don't get to that level of success without stepping on somebody's back yep um because it's nearly impossible you have to be cutthroat you have to Cut the market, um, cut down costs. And the costs are usually in the, ma the mass employees that are employed by them. So. And the horror stories online, I don't know how accurate they are, how true they are now, yeah. of being an Amazon employee is apparently like a really challenging job. And, yeah. Well, but that's part of the whole capitalist system. Mm -hmm. And um, Welcome to ZPH. <laughs> yeah, where we talk about video games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, mail, news, and feedback. I wanted to show you this awesome poster that I finally got. Oh, shit. Um, and we're stepping over framed. cats, too. Yeah, watch. Don't step on the cats. How are we doing for framing? Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Oh, great. I think I'm so, this is uh, the uh, 1983 Japanese print of the Tron vi um, movie poster. Oh, that's So, this is from Japan. Original print from 1983 what came first the video game or the movie oh movie okay yeah and they made video games on systems around that era like um in television and atari uh like quite a quite a number and in the arcade as well very good arcade game um and we've played a port of that for the 2600 and you dragon wrecked me i remember when we did that <laughs> game yeah um but i just love the colors in this the red and the blues and i just love the japanese aesthetic. what's going on with this girl who's she that's a good question probably the the love interest in the yeah. it's been a while since i've seen it yeah oh, but i have a bunch of japanese movie posters in the hallway and i just love the aesthetic of oh, japanese yeah. movie posters so neon phoenix oh yeah so i'll have to hang that up soon i have a spot for it right over there beside the bathroom and we've got some boxes, some unpackaging Ooh. here. Um, oh. What should I do first? Do the letter and then the, the box. Letter first. You know, okay. That just feels right. And I think I know what this is. Um, this is from Pack Packrat VG. Oh, Packrat man, that's kind of so apt. The Packrat sending us a letter. <laughs> and it's actually, I think, related to the game we're going to be playing today. Let's take a look. It's got the pack rat on there. Yeah, man. A muscular mouse. And it is my golden spanner patch Damn. for the game we're going to be playing today. Um, so there's two levels of patches for this. Um, this is the first level patch. Um, and I will actually save this reading out the letter when I achieve the 8,000 level. Sounds good. In the game. Um, but there's two levels. There's 4,000 points, which this is for. Then there's 8,000 points, which is what we're trying for today. Um, we'll see if I achieve that. I think I will. 
because I did, I was so close to it and it, it'll just be uh, getting the number of tries. Now this, I don't know what this is. I know who it's from and they had been um, trying to send it me, send it to me for a while um, because they're from Brazil. Wow. And just international packages. Our Brazilian are, homies. Yeah, are slow and like it's hard to get things in and out of some countries. Also, I've noticed for, mail in general has been taking a lot longer since um, COVID. I mean, I think things yeah. have leveled out a little bit. It's gotten better. But, but yeah. when, at that first two couple months, man, was just like, I even looked at Amazon and it was like, what, 18 days <laughs> for some, some stuff? You know, yeah. I was like, wow. And it just made sense because I think everyone all of a sudden ordered everything. And for a while, there was a bunch of countries you couldn't ship to from Canada. Wow. Like, they just, nothing. You cannot ship to there. So I had to wait a while to, to send something. Yeah, nationalism is on its rise. <laughs> nationalism. Uh, so this is from Leandro from More Work Games, um, who, uh, his company More Work Games released Rally Racer and a new Marauder. Oh. So, what is this? It's a shirt! <laughs> oh, wow! Look at that. Rally wow. Racer shirt. Very nice. From More Work Games. Got oh, a little that's sun amazing. And a car. Very awesome. Because they have these listed on their website. Um, and he sent a game. Look at that. Ooh. Rally Racer. Also, like, wrapped perfectly in bubble wrap as well. Yeah. Very, vacuum very nice. sealed. Well, not, not fully <laughs> vacuum sealed, but we got a little zip seal. It's like air from Brazil. Oh, <laughs> no. I like this Brazilian air. It smells <laughs> sweeter than Canada. That's right. Um, so this is the full package for Rally Racer. That's amazing. Um, and I've actually never played this game because it's only been released on cartridge. So we'll have to, we'll have to play this on an this upcoming... Is cartridge, man. This yeah. We're set. And um, this is actually the game that won for best packaging. Oh. Last year. Wow. So there you go. Um... Yeah, uh, we'll take we'll take a look at this when we play it when yeah. I schedule it. So it makes sense. Yeah, so I don't want to open it up now and then. Yeah, because yeah, uh, we got and we also got a show to do today. Yeah, too, exactly. Know? But thank you so much, Leandro. That is awesome. Love the shirt. Um, so there's a whole bunch of homebrew games um, that are coming out from Atari Age. Wow. Um, and Al has been releasing pictures of the uh, artwork on the boxes. So let's take a look at some of that artwork. And before that, actually, new uh, Champ Games just re just announced they're making a new game. <laughs> fucking machines, Kicks. man. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a game called Kicks. Q-I-X. Um, and previously to this, people have tried and tried and tried to make it but it's really really hard due to the limitations of graphics in the 2600 um but he's found a good way of uh putting it together um so let's take a look at this let me switch over to this oh there we go hey that should work okay so it says yesterday on the champ Games Facebook page, we've revealed a proof of concept for Kix for the 2600. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Kix, I don't know if you know this no, game. I know nothing about it. <laughs> it's pretty old school. Um, it was an arcade game in the early 80s. Um, basically, it's an open grid, not a grid, open area, black area, or sometimes there's pictures in it. And you draw boxes or you cordon off areas by drawing lines around it and then it fills in that area and then you do another one and another one until you fill up say 75 percent and then you've beaten the level and there's little guys that chase after you and there's things in the black spaces bouncing around wow. so you have to avoid those while drawing the boxes and the the issue was when drawing the boxes, you have to use certain graphics on the 2600, and the graphics are always chunky. Um, but he's found a way to make it feel uh, more naturalistic. And he's been he's using very clever 
use of the play field to draw the boxes. He's got two, two colors here, the orange and the blue. And he's alternating lines of coloring the orange and coloring the blue. So it's going to work out really, really well. Wow. And that's that's the key to a lot of 2600 games is just using the hardware in a clever way that makes it work. Um, so it's, it's only a few hours of work. <laughs> but it shows some good progress. Full status area with Kix logo, six digit core, score in Kix arcade font, number of reserves, number percent claimed and percent needed to complete. Plus the Sparks timer, all with no flicker. Uh, that's really it's key. good. 38 by 96 draw area, filled sections in blue and orange. Uh, blue for fast. Two Sparks that travel around the perimeter. Your marker can also travel around the perimeter, plus fast or slow drawing sections. And he's going to support two button controllers as well for drawing fast and slow. And we posed the question, would you like to see a completed version of Released by Champions? I have a feeling the answer nah, is going to be no. We don't want that. No, fuck your work. No. <laughs> John, you're terrible at making games, and we don't want more games. <laughs> no, it's, he says the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Of course. So we'll most likely really, uh, work on this potential release for 2021, because he's already got That's like amazing. three or four games coming up before yeah, that. because he doesn't have that much work. No, And no. it's not like he also has a life so and a lazy. job. And <laughs> so <laughs> It's funny. just an infinite amount of time. Actually, if, if there is the potential for someone to live an extra 12 hours per day, <laughs> I feel like John already has hacked into that. Because I don't know how he gets everything done in his day. I mean, this I is an efficient don't man. don't know. Well, we're going to be interviewing him uh, in September. Wow. For his uh, release of Zookeeper. So we can pose that question. Yeah, where do you Break find your time? Break down your day. I feel, I feel like he must be one of those crazy lunatics who sleeps like six hours, wakes up, totally good, <laughs> breakfast, immediately Just works. bright-eyed. Just on. ready to fucking dive into like his life's challenges. But I also think that when you're fulfilling like in doing what you love i feel like time you can make more time for it you know it's that's like, true it's like i cannot yeah. make time for things i don't care about but if i'm into something there's always time in the day you know oh yeah it's just yeah how exactly life is. and he obviously loves making games so um and he's and we're really so lucky good that he it. does yeah oh yeah that's that's for sure um and this speaking of champ games there is a new game coming out this is avalanche by champ games being released through atari age box art is by david exton and this is um from an arcade game called avalanche and it was originally ported to uh be kaboom for the 2600 yeah. put out by activision because they couldn't quite do the graphics because they're very very detailed but Instead of course of champ games pulls it off no problem <laughs> also like word of advice if you are in the middle of an avalanche do not get out of your car <laughs> to walkie talkie you drive yeah. the car more human bodies are squishy just uh, stay in that car man and especially if there's a helicopter coming in also like yeah you, you drive downhill you but drive I'm, away but you don't go sideways that's right D go down there but i mean look at that you're dead anyway that rock yeah. is gonna destroy that apparently ford vehicle maybe the ca <laughs> car's on fire though you see a little bit of like orange Could bits be. i mean if your car is on fire and there's an avalanche happening and yeah. you're out and you're walkie talking i don't know what luck you've got in life man you might be uh, He's radioing for that helicopter, and uh, there's a boulder like <laughs> like about heading to right for the helicopter. So shit is going down in the world of Avalanche. Oh yeah, it's bad news for Mr. White Hat dude. There. But that mustache man, he's that gives him a plus two, an extra power. Oh yeah, definitely. He's ready to just fucking go. <laughs> Uh, and his so, paddle with paddles too. I feel like that's the yes. only way you got to play avalanche. I'm just oh yeah, you're ca whenever you're catching things like that. Yeah, that's it's, the it's that's paddles. the avalanche way. Yeah. Um, so that is a fun game we have played on the show before. Uh, also, if you get get a sense of how big these fucking rocks are, look at that tree off to the right. That gives you a oh scale. My God. That yeah, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that guy having is... a rough day. And we played this on the show a couple times recently. Little uh, little J action going on here. There we go. Little anime style. Yeah, Pit Cat, an incredible, incredible game. Um, I believe they're only releasing the box and the manual for this. Oh, um, but no game. Controversial. No, no game. <laughs> that is very interesting. They're releasing the game for free yeah. online. 
as as a download. Oh, and you can just buy this. To... But you can buy the box and the and the Dude, manual. What a fucking world we're in now. <laughs> yeah, because I want to buy my DVD case with no DVD. <laughs> yeah, can I just get the case? Actually, that is not out of control. There's games like modern games. Oh yeah. You buy them, you open them up, and there's a piece of paper with a number on it. And then you and that's download, the download from the server so... onto your thing because there's a hardware problem. Like an, opt- an optical drive is not fast. No, it's and most not. D- DVDs or Blu-ray uh, contemporary modern games, you plug them in, that you download them to the hard drive mm. because there's no, it's an interface issue. Like there's no optical drive that can play fast enough to run 4K Call of Duty Black Ops Nine. <laughs> and also, it's already updated before you even buy the game. Yeah, like there's updates, there's DLC constantly. So the game you buy on the disc is not going to be the game anyway Brave you're gonna have to world. download 200 gigs of updates the for on de- release day yeah um, as they're patching everything the reason this isn't coming on cartridge is because it is a nintendo game originally really and nintendo is particularly litigious oh yeah <laughs> so what you think this about the a game longevity game. of those ips right like you know the yeah. and and just how iconic Mario they are. Mario and Donkey Kong. They are an entire industry in and of themselves. Yeah. So they want to be very protective because you have to defend um, uh, trademarks. I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. Not patents, but trademarks. Also, the merchandising yeah. alone is huge money. <sighs> huge money. Maybe not for Pit Cat, but no, our, but for and most of those Nintendo IPs and or it's Cat like, Trap is and and that's the issue is that these companies have like. Um, you know they know how to handle a court case because <laughs> they've oh, done yeah, more they've than done one. Many and before. our homebrew pals, I mean, they don't have the money for that. God no, and they're and not making the, money on and it. And that's either. the ridiculous part of it too. Is like, why are you taking down the homebrew yeah, homies? These people just love your game, and they're trying how, to. How dare you on your spare time spend <laughs> <laughs> spend time designing video games and releasing them? That's right. Princess Rescue. Oh, ah, uh, how dare you! How dare you? And we have a non- monopoly on the concept of saving princesses. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. feel like you don't, but <laughs> it's probably goes back pretty far in literature. Uh, it's a couple not, hundred or it's thousand not years. An original concept. Yeah. But... And Ninja Guy and oh, Low Res World is ca- finally coming to also great. cartridge. I'm super into this cartridge as well. Oh my god! Look at the artwork. He does his own artwork. Oh, VHZC, because he puts out t-shirts, he's an incredible artist, and if you have not seen or played this game, oh my god, it's one of the, it's a really good platform. It's wonderful. Super creative, um, so many enemies in it, uh, all of VHZC games are incredible. And that is definitely one of those games that you could just kind of like, at Christmas time, Thanksgiving, just throw in your hands of like your nephews, your nieces, your whoever, and just go, good luck, and they'll have a fun time. Like it's <laughs> It's a really, it's really self-exploratory um, yep. And it's in one of those ones where, like, you're like another one, another one. Yep. Oh yeah. It's it's and it's not impossible to finish it uh, once you <laughs> it's true. figure it out. Some Ch- games are like it oh, might be challenging, fun. but it is not oh, yeah. impossible. And yeah, he's been busy releasing. Uh, he's gearing up. He says next month, I think, is the last update for all these games to be released. And this one's not to be confused with the Jodie Foster movie. <laughs> no, this is Panic Rooms. Rooms. And with an S, and so, and with an exclamation mark on right. panic. Um, we of course, not... Whitaker will not fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have not played this game on the show, um, because they have not released any binaries of this game. Um, so the first time we play it may be on cartridge. Dude, see this premise? You are a rich, ruthless <laughs> Texan oil tycoon who stepped over everybody and everything to get where you are today. Yeah. See, this is a rough backstory for a protagonist. <laughs> it is. You Play got... the anti-hero. Okay, so they know. They know that this is an anti-hero story. This is like this is yeah. like the Joker Your competitors gunning down escaped, Robert De Niro. Escaped from prison <laughs> and are very, very angry. They found out that you had them jailed so you could dominate <laughs> the market. So there's, there's no good guys story. here. There's no good guys. He's, he's, I don't even know if he's the anti-hero. Like, yeah, this may be just a villain. Just a, just a villain that you root for. Yeah. <laughs> Which does happen, you know? Three dangerous floors of mansion to explore. Yeah. Your oh, yeah, own... he says anti-hero. <laughs> he does, man. <laughs> he's going to have to redeem himself in the, the eyes of the, yeah, the player there has to, to be, be an a, anti-hero. a redemptive thing at the it end, does. you know? But he's just rescuing his wealth and hiding yeah. out. Uh, we'll have to see. And what is his, uh, you know... Fatal flaw. 
Yep. It's Achilles' heel. Uh, okay, let's get out of this. There we go. I don't know if the chat is broken <laughs> or if nobody's talking. Dude, I think that Al Nilf now Al Nifer put it um perfectly. Question mark indeed, yeah, my friend. It's just question mark. Today is for the YouTube audience. <laughs> yep. Welcome, YouTube audience. Uh, welcome to the show. But that's uh, okay. That is all fine. Maybe the, the U.S. just disappeared. Maybe they it's just possible, floated man. off into the Pacific or Atlantic Ocean, our split in two. Our friends from Oregon, good luck. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, the line across Canada and Portland. the U.S. just broke off. <laughs> Ooh, it's a rough go there. Um, and so that's the the uh, all the box art that has been released since the last time we did a sh did a show that's crazy he's like man. updating and putting one out every day um so the first let's get into the games the first game we're going to be playing is shifty lifty it's it from 2018 by ross atkin titus renegade as he's known on the atari age forums oh, perfect um it's a 16k f6 game uh, other games he's made, Asteroid Rescue, which we played, Escape from Kooky Koo Temple. Which uh, one was it we're doing again? Uh, Shifty Lifty, uh, Jay Walker, Mardi Gras, and um, Temple. And Warrior. then NTSC, right? Yes. Bam. Ross. Today I don't have a coffee. I got some tea going on. Because I had a coffee uh, already. Just one second. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying adventure. to turn into a tea drinker. I just feel much better trying when I do it. Trying to make the conver conversion over? Mm-hmm. The problem is, is the taste and experience of coffee, first thing, is amazing. But I'm going to stop drinking coffee um, throughout the day. Just I got to take one coffee right in the morning, and then I'm going to slowly transition that to tea. Because I, I think this legal drug, caffeine, might just be a little too much like everything else, man. Um, so you can jump into it. The game is fairly self-explanatory, so avoid the thing. Oh, I just... Yeah, try and get to the top. Okay. I'm thinking that this challenge, the challenge factor will definitely... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all about timing this game. I'm thinking I can't wait to have more than just the one. There you go. The challenge now. And they're all off time. Uh, so this was originally a uh, called Nifty, named Nifty Lifty after the ZX Spectrum game. Um, and it was put out in 1984 by Vision Software Factory UK. Um, oh shit. Yeah, I died. Oh, oh, go for it again. So you get three lives. Um, and this first post, for anybody new to this post, is a port remake of Nifty Lifty. On the 2600. Um, it was first posted about April 8th, 2018. Uh, he says the controls are simple. You only need left and right. Uh, goal of the game avoid the lifts. Um, and one of his last posts. Yeah, a professional bellhop, man. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, I changed the name to Shifty Lefty just to differentiate it a bit from the original. I tried added, adding some music, but it was a major grief, so I'll try again later. Um, no idea if this works on actual hardware. It does. I would be very interested. Every, anybody has a melody card who wants to try it. Not sure if I should continue this and make it into a new PC plus game with multiple lifts, or whether just move back onto my other projects. Given that Elevators a Miss is available already, we'll see. I did play Elevators a Miss on the show. They aren't missed. Ooh, that was close. Kind of a good, really, oh, going one direction. So I'll watch the top two now. Yeah, there's kind of like two variations. Well, that was, it's hard to like, oh, to dodge them. Well, no, it's just hard to land properly in the, in the, uh, Oh, because you're in the middle. Width, really. Um, so it's just, it's just a question of like precision, but. Um, what's this?
lifts going up and down possible. Now we know how you watch your life with bellhops deal all day. Yeah, but so this is a ding, point. you know, it's not Well, they're not stopping at the floors. But actually, they ding when they go past the floors. Yeah. So I think originally they had a bell on them. And as they went past the floor, there's a little thing that made the bell flip. Go ding, ding. So it was a manual bell thing. The cool thing about this game is that each level is a bit different because the timing works out a bit different. But well, like this sort of general conceit of having it go um, repeat on the bottom and then go back and forth because the two are very different kind of feelings and styles of, of play, you know? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Generally the top I find this to be the, see this oh. is the most challenging. And you see what I mean? The challenge of Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna have to stop. Won't you? <laughs> Do I give it a go? Yes, see if I can get past that level. Oh, I think you have to be able to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's I find the, the, the these ones I find to be a bit harder. The where they were looped around? Yeah, where they yeah. But I think they're like equally challenging. And also, once you get four going on, oh, oh boy. Well, there's a possibility of five. So, oh jeez, good luck to us. Good luck, friends. I think that's gonna even happen. You may not even see four. Yeah, I've been um, just writing like crazy D and D. I had a session that was gonna be this Friday. Yeah. Um, but then we bumped it to two weeks, which is nice because I get to do some more writing on it. Mm. It's been really fun. I love doing that stuff. So how in depth do you go with the writing of the, like the levels? And the oh yeah, I like to do everything, and I like to. I actually really like to have um, backstories. Of backstories, things. and I also like it's something that you don't get in RPGs. But I like to modify things as people go. You know, so like I'll have things like if someone. Um, you know, just just so that like there's benefits and cons to things, and if someone does something crazy, like you know, like for example, there's like these mind flares that these one guys were facing. And it's one of those things we can do this thing called willing deformity, which is where you like what? claw apart your body to go slightly insane, oh but it God. makes you immune to being um, influenced by mind flares. So it's like you can go crazy and be able to defeat these creatures. Or you can be can run the risk of being influenced by them. So it's fun to do things wow. which have because that's the one thing that I like about like I play like version three D and D, which has everything has a plus and a con. So like mm -hmm. as you get old, your strength diminishes, but your wisdom and intelligence increases. So if you have like an, a character who's a certain age, you can then like roll a character and you go, well, this person's like old, so they're smarter and wiser, but they're stronger, but they're weaker. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of like yeah. play with different things, but I like doing it a lot. It's just a fun, it's a fun way to wake up, actually, to just, and I used to do it all on my computer, but I've been, like, doing it on a notebook, and I just, like, it's more fun, it's more fun, and that's, like, legit, like, that's old school d and It just, is, yeah, everything's written out, <laughs> maps are hand-drawn. Yeah, and I'll do the maps digitally now, because, um, I just think it's, especially the dungeon maps, like, the world maps, I find, are less intense, yeah. but when, you know, when I'm drawing the dungeon oh, maps, yeah. it's a lot easier um, it's probably some good software out there, right? Yeah, um, that's something I would love to have, actually, is more software that would work better. Yeah, like it has built-in things that you can just drag it I out. have one that I use right now, which is decent, but it's only good for certain more. things. Mm -hmm. Building maps is, but it's like very proprietary shit. Uh, I don't imagine there's that many people who are, and also like, um, I think like the guy at the coffee shop runs a D and D campaign, and I talk to him sometimes. Yeah, but he's very different. Like he's much more like I think a lot of modern D and D players are mostly just killing monsters, getting loot, leveling like, up. Uh, and because okay. modern D and D, like uh, D and D five, is way has way more combat oriented. You have miniatures, you have movements. So it's it's less mm -hmm. versus classic D and D. I kind of more story based. Definitely. Yeah. Well, there's a big. There's probably a lot more of a push for getting all the figurines and stuff. And back in the day, it was like, yeah, you got the book with the adventures, go for it. Totally. That's it. And it's also so time consuming to write an adventure, and it takes a level of um, creativity that I think a lot of people don't want to oh, put in. A lot um, of versus it's a lot easier to sort of go. Well, you go to town, and they say, go to this. 
this cavern and there's some orcs and then you fight the orcs and then have to like, spend an hour and a half with very complicated combat. Um, and then that produces like a certain kind of game, but it's it's less fun for me. I like the I like the story stuff. That was too hard. <laughs> it's really hard. A shifty litzy man. It's not an easy. No. And uh, this this game actually evolved into a game called Jaywalker. <laughs> yeah. And and he replaced it with cars. It makes more sense, man. Yeah. Where's the Jaywalker going though? And he's just he's going back and forth isn't across the river. Sort of the same. Move on to the second game, cool. which is RC Sumo Bots Sumo. by Carl G. Um, I really wanted to give this game yep, another go um, because whoa, um, because the first one was just unbalanced and it hadn't been um, really tested. Whoa, whoa, this is more like this feels more like um, space. Oh, wow, it's really hard. It's like gently bumping each other. Well, this is 
we went for it. Flew into the sun. <laughs> Every risk is a reward. <laughs> the risk is higher than reward. So, uh, you're training for uh, 80s trailers? I'm fucking so stuff. ready, man. <laughs> People are wondering what's happening. Oh. Must be a Twitch thing. Oh, they're on a Atari age talking about it? Oh my goodness. It says offline. No wonder nobody's talking. Oh. Oh, what is happening? Cannot access. Double check your stream key. Was 
That was a YouTube exclusive. <laughs> that was the point where we just fucking... Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to restart OBS then. Yeah. Uh, which means I'm going to have to stitch this together. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. After these mess on the red. Okay, we are back. Is uh, there anybody... I don't know if it's broadcasting. We're going to check again on our own stream. Oh! There we go. Okay. We okay. Are We're moving. Uh, yeah. Um, it's not doing hey, well. We it's in the back. red. There we go. Uh, Technical no problem. Please stand, stand by. by. Dan, sorry you're about so that. Fucking right, my friend. Like we thought that just nobody was talking. Yeah. And they were. I was. I was okay. Writing an '80s movie. <laughs> because nobody, you're gonna love the YouTube. <laughs> because nobody was here. I was like, it's time for me to just write an '80s movie <laughs> with robots. Not '80s movie. Yeah, that. '80s. We were getting into the movie. We we're started with trailers. Talking. '80s. Movie yeah. trailer. And then we and then at a certain point because everyone was there, we just started We've got writing. A full script. <laughs> we got most of it. Yeah. We could, we could write we could make Brock this movie. Here. I was like, it's time to just write an eighties movie. We've gone, gone for a long time. Yeah. Uh, it's we're said started, we were broadcasting yeah. and it wasn't. And, and, then, and then, then when I stopped the stream and started it, it was like yeah, we got most of it. It's not happening. We could rock movie. More than twenty minutes gone, yeah. And unfortunately I have to bail at one, so but that's we can't okay. Restart, but uh, there's some good stuff in the YouTube archive. Yeah. And it was picking up an echo. And then when yeah. I yeah. Yeah. started yeah. it, it was like yeah. 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 There we go. Sorry. Because we were testing. Testing to make sure we were broadcasting. Echo, echo, echo. echo. And the echo is gone. Echo one, bravo. <laughs> echo two. <laughs> EMP hit, hit Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. We were joking that uh, the US broke off. From from there you from are. Canada. Hey guys, that makes way more sense. Oh, well, sorry about that. It's good to have that. our friends back. Yeah, that's great. So we were we're into the second game now. Yeah. Uh, RC Sumo Bots. Uh, we'll continue playing this for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Restart. Okay. Press button. Bam. Okay. So. And Erlen just dodged me. Uh, oh no. Got him back. I guess we missed some of the show. Yeah, I can check it out on YouTube later. Yeah. Sorry about that. Missed the first game too. Yeah, um, which was shifty lifty. You, da, 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 da. you also get to see how professional we are and kept going, trying to do despite, a quality show no matter what. Despite zero feedback. It's I, like, heard a, I heard a oh. story about James Brown that apparently he showed up to a music festival and there was like a miscommunication and there was only like 10 people there but apparently James Brown put on the exact same show whether there 100 was 100% effort 100% and they said those 10 people wow. had their mind blown and that was when they really realized like that's a fucking pro man doesn't matter yep. whether there's 10 people or you an entire your thing yeah you don't want to disappoint those 10 people if yeah. you did a bad show or didn't do a show those 10 people would be going back going he just didn't give the effort. He didn't care that I was there. That's right. And that's that's what matters. Like, so we were we were trying to put on a show no matter what, even though there's no on one here. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> love the '80s trailers. Check uh, it out, man. We wrote a movie. Yeah. It's gonna. It was all about this game, actually. <laughs> it's this war bots. We wrote a movie for this game. So these are um, it's USA. It's set in the '80s. That's right. It's the USA versus Russia. Um, uh, the protagonist, uh, his son is in trouble, trouble. and he, they've, he's got to rescue him. But the only way you can rescue him is by winning the RC bot tournament. tournament. And in the world now, people just watch robots fighting. That's yeah. the only form of entertainment. And yeah, so it's um, a huge Johnny's deal. been building his robot since he was a little boy. Yeah. And he never, he's always dreamed of going into combat, but he's been so attached to his robot that he doesn't want to risk it. And this is the first time he's got to risk his robot going into the, the, and, the and, war. And through the process of the movie, he befriends the robots because they ga gain AI sentience. And, and, ev <laughs> and eventually he wins over the Russian oh. robot and uh, the Russians can no longer control the robot. Like their their controller starts sparking, and and then all of a sudden a voice comes in from. Uh, <laughs> Pause to address technical issues. Yeah, I think they said that upstream is in the red. Yeah, and I think that's part of the issues. You, uh, like I could reset the router. Um, yeah. It's not a terrible idea since we've yeah, already so had we already so paused. Much. So we'll be right back. And then we just move on us. to the next game. Yeah, we we will. This uh, robot. So we'll be right back after these messages once again. Okay, 
We are back online. Welcome back to Dude, the show. Dude, full circle, Al Nefer, <laughs> question, question mark, mark again. Yeah, I love it. Perfect. Red still. Still red. Uh, we're going to continue on uh, playing the games, and you're going to have to watch it on YouTube. I'm thinking um, that might be our future friends. Yeah, uh, it's just something. Twitch is bad. We're bad. Something in between is bad. And on the something. break, I looked it up, and Thief the Dark Project is a 1998 first-person stealth game, and it was the first PC game to use light and sound as a game mechanic and combine complex artificial intelligence. Mm. And it was first-person. It's such an interesting game. I remember playing that game thinking, man, this is amazing. And then that what followed was Tom Clancy and all the Hitman games. And Dishonored is probably the, the, the most interesting stealth game I've played. It's such a fucking good game. One more round of this. I love stealth games, actually. Oh, do you? That's one of my favorite genres. Because um, it's not just blazing guns. You run in and, and shoot everything. You have to, like, really think about it. It's more like a puzzle. Yeah, Dis ah, Dishonored is like the... Um, yeah, Twitch is having problems. Sorry about that, guys. Catch up on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I were fucking watching, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to hit this up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. And that's totally understandable. Because 12 frames per second? <laughs> it's not cutting. It's not a good show, man. No, you need 60. Well, the thing is, is that I I was doing a little, um, there's still big video issues yeah. here. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's not, it's not going to correct itself at the moment. Um... It's showing me red for um, broadcasting. Um, so it's some issue in between us and Twitch. Oh, see, this um, is like an Icarus game. If somebody could go on another Twitch stream, I'm sure not all of Twitch is no. bad. I'm sure it's something. I think the closed off area versions of this are a little bit more I strategic. Wanna, I was going to just blast at you, but you were. <laughs> I was moving. Much more strategic, yeah. Open field is like... Because you just run... I'm... Because you have to watch the out The only more. factor here that I... What do you mean? My screen is all black. Oh, well... Channel says still offline. Now it's green. What is <laughs> happening? <laughs> See, one of my consensuses of this entire thing, yeah. and I'm just saying it, is that I thought that my reference to Amazon at the oh, beginning no. was an endorsement... But it's very possible that I should not mention anything <laughs> negative on the stream about Amazon. Mm. I did say good things though. I was you did. it was I was yeah. being honest. Somewhat balanced. Honesty no. is a real important value to me. You must not criticize the overall. You must not describe Jeff Bezos. <laughs> or Jeff Bezos he heard. will get you. That's right. Oh no. Big brother is watching. Hey, this is hitting up yellow green. Green, green. Oh, no, it's in the green. Maybe it's getting better. We'll appear normal for a second. Dude, that's my fucking life. I appear normal for a second, and then <laughs> it goes you get to know me, and you're like, Nine. God damn it, Erlen. Better than before. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it's stabilizing, maybe a bit. Stabilizing the stream. There we go. Black Jack hitting it up. Back with our friends playing games and Twitch. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, you know what? I was doing a little bit of research about Twitch and all this stuff for a project, and the staggering number that I found was that 7.4 million active streamers were using the Twitch Whoa. service over the last, like, month. I did this a month ago, so... Wow. But that was their number, and if you look at the numbers of active streamers, I think it's, like, 10 to 1 streamers. 10 to yes, 1 yes, yes. people watching compared to people streaming. Title screen now? Uh, sorry. Yeah, let's not have the title screen. Uh, <laughs> um, Welcome yeah. to the show. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, why not just go uh, all in on Okay, on, getting on audio problems. chat and titles. Whoa, this is exciting. <laughs> Isn't it exciting to see our faces after panicking? No, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to assume anyone panicked. There's no, no, no panic to see this. Yeah. But, uh, hey, it looks great. There's something oh, yeah, the Twitch streaming... Um, service and and the 10 to 1 yeah which it, i heard 20 might be but it might be variation oh yeah um because a streaming service just shut down yeah. or is in the process of shutting down uh it was a microsoft one? yeah mixer man mixer, mixer is um so they're probably coming back 
like all those people that were on Mixer are trying out Mixer. And it's like, okay, let's go yeah. back to Twitch. So it's probably even better. But but that's cra- no. that's staggering to think that that like last I think it was the month before that I that I looked at the numbers that seven point four million active streamers. That's huge. That those are how many people are streaming their own streams, and so it's just like that. Looks stable now. Yay. Okay. Yeah, we did miss Shifty Lifty. You'll have to check the archives. It's worth it. We do a, a good bit about. 80s and trailers and movies and all that stuff so we're going to be we playing... call that a youtube exclusive a youtube exclusive <laughs> we're going to be playing blackjack of theta 8 uh, this is 2020 work in progress by edward gilmore azure and this build mm. is from today he just Jeez. just put out he actually messaged me black like tw- 20 minutes before the theta. show okay yep. let's do this uh, point nine two. uh so this builds from uh july what's the date today 20 seconds no oh, it's going in the red again never mind we're gonna assume oh, it's bad no. for the rest of the game, for the rest of the show. Oh, it's um, green again. So That's it's red. a 16k game. Green, yellow. Other games he's made: uh, Battle for Proton and Blackjack Theta Eight. Uh, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. The premise: You're a NASA astronaut who crash landed. <laughs> it's it's Blackjack in space. Dude, everything is fucking better in space. Yes. Everything's better with robots and in space. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice, if there's just a robot butler, it would be a way better fucking <laughs> story. That's hilarious. Uh, uh, crash landed on the uninhabited, inhospitable planet Theta-8. You're living out the rest of your life in an artificial hotel casino. Well, created for you by the intelligent species who damaged your craft and killed your crew. This is the premise to a sci-fi show. Not, not the blackjack part. Um, uh, what is it called? I have it on Criterion, and it was just recently remade. Oh, shit. Where, yeah, these space aliens are giving you a new reality, and, and like, the best of whatever you want. It's like, whatever you can imagine, they're giving you. Um, and probably dates way back into novels and stuff. Uh, Not knowing your preferred living conditions, the intelligent species constructed the hotel using the narrative from a poorly written Pulp Fiction novel in your possession. Oh, no. Yes. (laughs) You can't leave. Imagine if you brought, like, the road with you. (laughs) You'd be like, fuck This is your reality. (laughs) It's like, no, man. This is Cormac McCarthy I was going to read. God damn it. (laughs) Um, Blackjack are your only entertainment. However, there may be an escape. The casino closely resembles the story in the novel, which des- describes a casino which can be bought up by foreign investors. Perhaps your way out is to break the bank. So there you oh. go. Um, so well, you know what the, we know what they say in Vegas: the house always wins. Oh, it, you play long enough, they do. Oh my God! I I can I, I play? Ex- Whoa! Oh, no, don't. Quit that. I've never seen that before. I didn't... Did you touch that, man? I thought... I was just wondering if I could, like, move the spacecraft. Oh, no, no, I think that's the intro. Oh, sorry. Let's reset. You're not seeing anything. Oh, no! Okay, one more time. Crash land. Oh, oh, there's a casino that they're building. Oh, wow. Someone's got to put out this fire. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Place your bet. Place your bet. Is Blackjack similar to 21? It's the same shit? Or is yeah. It different? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You're trying to uh, get as close to 21 without going over. We're going to do a 10. Oh, uh, press up, maybe. There you go. Just 10. Okay. Playing it safe. Okay, press yeah. button. So you have a 3. And the house has a seven and I'm nine, which is sixteen. That, man. Oh yeah, three. Oh, oh no, up. that's you. Sorry. Oh, no, sorry. I shouldn't hit that. Well, you should have, because you got twenty now. Hit. Hit no, stay. Stay. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get that ten dollars. <laughs> Dealer, Dealer wins. wins. <gasps> Dude, the house always fucking wins. Twenty-one. Man. Jesus. Okay. Ten. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so you got eighteen. Dude, I'm fucking. And stay. Staying. Yeah. Dealer's gonna win. Push. Yeah, so he got. Same. Oh, okay. So. Yo. Okay. I'm gonna do 25. Push. Shit is getting. What is real. that? I've never heard of push. So what's what is that? 14. I'm hitting. Oh, I thought. God damn it. I thought the dealer had to Busted. keep going yeah. until they go over. 25. Hold on. I'm not losing money though. This is a good game. Stay. <laughs> Yay! Dude. Winner. Fuck yeah. So how much do you have now? Let's find out. 
No, you've got 980. You've you've gone down. I want to see what. This, oh, I see. What this push is. Oh, I see. 35 is on the line. Our bandwidth went down to zero. 13 hit. 19 stay. Premise instruction. Dealer wins. Of course he fucking wins. God damn it. Oh, so there's. So we're on uh, the easy version. Ah, bust. Uh, oh, the the computer can surrender. <gasps> Dude, blackjack. Blackjack this motherfucker. Backwards. Backwards. And forwards. Backwards. That is the developer. Azura hey. is in the chat. Oh yeah, I'm hitting this. Um, right difficulty switch. Um, I'm the, hitting this. A, the dealer hits on soft no. seventeen. B, dealer stands on soft seventeen. It's easier. Oh, I'm hitting this. Oh, I'm staying on this. Oh yeah. Winner. Oh yeah. Oh, he busted twenty-two. Good. So stuff. you're not back up to a thousand yet. No. Is that, so I'm hitting this. Yo, oh, no, uh, busted twenty-two. It's good odds though. I made the right choice. Yeah, crank up your bed. Dude, I'm fucking... What are you up to? 35? Oh, shit. Okay. Screwed it up. Ten, oh, I'm hitting this. Hit. I'm Stay. staying. Oh. oh. Okay, Push. I'm thrown in. Dude, I'm throwing in 135. Oh, high Push. stakes. Push is a tie. Dude, I'm hitting this shit. No. Yes? I thought the deal... I thought... I don't play black. Dude, I'm hitting again. No. Oh. I just lost $135. Oh, no. This is high stakes, man. 13. 20. Stay. I'm staying. Winner! Dude, I just won $135. Oh, you're still down 200 almost. 16. Oh, way over. Way over. No! I made the right choice. Uh, split hands. The current selected hand is white and the inactive hand is gray. Dude, I'm staying. Dealer wins. Dude, the fucking dealer always wins. Blackjack rules. Um, I always don't understand splits. And when you can do splits. Okay. 100. The player may surrender on any hand. Surrendering stand. ends the hand and returns one half I'm of the staying. bet. Oh, yeah, take that, computer. So you can surrender Future. if you get a terrible hand. I'm hitting. Nice. Your face. Oh, Gambler's fallacy. Okay, wait, wait a second. Okay, just go to the right. Go to the right again. So you can double down. Go to the right again. Oh, I'm doubling down. Wait. No, I didn't realize 30. that that would do that. What? I'm, 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 I'm all in. Man. Doubling down your bet. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Double down pays two to one of the original bet. I should have stayed, man. That was yeah. a mistake. I want to see all the options. Don't press the button. Stay. Hit. Keep double going. down. Surrender. Surrender. Insurance. insurance insurance is offered when the dealer shows an ace or a 10 which yeah insurance bet is 50 percent of your original bet and pays two to one so it, yeah take the insurance oh you can't but he's showing an ace whatever i'm hitting oh Ooh. i'm hitting again yep. and i'm losing all my money oh no double down is 10 or 11 james oh. i have <laughs> you have seven dollars oh, i'm going no. all in man i think you're gonna be stuck on this planet forever There's no choice yep i'm hitting Ooh, gotta hit i gotta fucking hit again oh no what happens game over oh. place your bet we're stuck we're stuck can you, you you can't leave the 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 table and you can't place a bet there's no going game over I guess nobody's ever played down to zero before. No one's ever uh, flown that close to the sun, James, is what you're saying. So let's try a double. Let's try a split. Okay. Splitting hands is permanently on two equivalent valued cards. 100. Bam. So you can only do it when the both the cards are the same value. Uh, definitely hit. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Three and a four. Okay. Yeah, I, I would hit. Stay. Well, the problem is I'm not going to win. <laughs> oh. You did this time. Take that. No game over screen yet. Oh, okay. You're now trapped at the table. Oh, they said the stream's finally working. I do not believe you. It's red right now. Maybe it's working enough. Ooh, stay. stay. Oh, bastard. They cheat. They always cheat. House always wins, man. Yep. 
hit. It's got an ace. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, close. I flew close to the But side he had an again. 18, so. 8 and a 10. Stay. Oh, 21. The dealer. Personally, <laughs> if I were to be a gambling person, Texas Hold'em Poker would be my shit. Yeah, rather than this. Well, this is far more strategic, I feel, and there's a lot more options. I 21 and like, Blackjack has never felt like... like never been like an addiction to me i always right. feel like nihilistic when i play it i'm like <laughs> nothing matters and you know like I, it's a really rough like for you know Ooh. yeah you know and then you just feel like you're just making poor choices all the time <laughs> it, it just yep. and i find like the challenge i find hit, hit, hit. the challenge i find oh god hit again oh god. the challenge i find playing something like blackjack is yeah. that like even when i win i don't really feel like i won right just feels random you know like i i the lack of strategy is tough because obviously there is a, a great bit. deal of strategy in a yeah. statistic statistics game yes but the other the other factor is is like you know rain man i am not <laughs> that's true winner finally you got something yeah still waiting for a... digging yourself out of a hole yeah Still far in the hole. Because oh. the dealer doesn't really have to think about anything. He's just like, yep, yep. And it doesn't oh, matter if he wins or... I know he's playing all goddamn day. <laughs> oh, man. Like, uh. like, like the problem with a situation like this, right, yeah. is basically you have a question of which terrible statistic do you play? Yeah. Do you play his hand? So right now... He's got um, a three. He has a three. So the so reality is, is the odds of him beating me are so much higher, but yeah. the odds of me actually hitting this are so low. So you they just, I, like, this just feels right. like a fucked play. So I'm going to hit it and... You went over. Exactly. It's funny that he plays anyway. Yeah. I guess you get to see his card. And they're back to this. Right. And now it's like in 10. So the reality of the odds of him beating me are so very, high. Very but good. But then I basically have the odds of me actually rolling something that are decent. Thomas, is between one and five. So Thomas says you are making poor choices all the time. <laughs> he needs the cheating card. <laughs> yeah, man. 19. Finally. That's the thing that <laughs> oh, it's nothing but poor choices. <laughs> James, you try some blackjack. See how you do. Okay, here you read the instructions and take a look. Okay, we have no money left. Oh, seventeen. Well, we're gonna stay on seventeen, and we're gonna lose, and we have no money left. So we should play a couple hands here. Uh, hundred and fifty. Well, we're going to hit, and we're definitely going to stay, and we're going to win. Yay! Let's crank it up. Feeling lucky. Hit. Hit. The gambler's fallacy. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. It's like, I've lost so many times in a row. It's bound to hit now. <laughs> Ten. Oh, I can finally split. I like that. <laughs> They're making nothing but terrible choices. It's true. I don't. I'm, I've never been much of a blackjack player. Okay. So also because I'm. Yeah. So I split because I got two fives. Fifteen. That's... See, this is rough, man. I'm gonna hit. Oh, boo. <laughs> Twenty-five. It only showed five at the bottom. Interesting. So that's a bit of a bug. Oh, no. I'm playing the second one now. That's why. Oh, okay. I thought you played them both at the same time. Hit again. Hit again. Ooh. And fail. <laughs> oh. We've lost thousands together. <laughs> play, play Dude, we're on this fucking planet forever. Yeah. It's, at least it's better than the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. At least there's something to play. So, um... It's tough because this is just the blackjack rules. I yeah. mean, towards the top, there's more of what uh, he's done with the game. Uh, seven and nine hit, and way over. Oh my god. 17. Okay, I'm just going to stay then. I'm not going to go over. And. Oh, I won! Oh yeah, my god. Because he, he fucked up. He thought, yeah, he was at 16. Now 400 left. Oh, what the hell was that noise? 
<laughs> what did it, why did it make that? I noise? would vote hitting. Uh, yes. Uh, hit again. Oh, 21. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna crank it up. Gamblers, go fallacy. all in. We're going all in. Oh boy. I just stay. Yeah. Winner. <laughs> like, oh, still you're 100 down. Four choices all the time. It's my yeah. favorite <laughs> comment it's of the a day. Oh, it's a reshuffle. Oh, okay. That noise was like, we ran out mm. of cards. Uh, so I want to make uh, my money back. So I'm just going to go. Definitely ran out of cards. Oh, I do have my money back. Okay. Let's put it all in again. All in. We're going to let it ride. Eight. Oh, we're definitely hitting there. 21. My luck has turned around. That's right. All in again. This, see, this is called poor choices. <laughs> this is very poor choices. Oh, Where's Kevin hit. Spacey? Oh, boy. We're going to stay and lose. One again. Gambler has fell asleep. <laughs> now it's hard to bet it all. It's too much money. Let's put it all on the line. Because I gotta break the house. I gotta get out of this hellhole that is this planet. Here's a question, though. In this fictional world with Hit. an arbitrary amount, stay. Like, how much does... I won again! Like, how much do I need to win? Oh, there is only four digits. This is where I make it. It's where you break the... How much do I need? That'll be enough. That'll be enough to get the... Hit... We're gonna have to go stay. Did it? Did I win? In your... Oh no, there's the digits down there. The betting. Can I only go up to nine? Oh, what happened there? Oh, the piles reset. You can't bet ten thousand. So basically, so this is the highest bet I can make because all the chips reset was 9,999, so let's do that. Then we will retire. <laughs> because if you can't bet that much, that means the house doesn't have that much, really, right? I'm thinking, though, man, that, like, you gotta fill up that whole fucking scoreboard at the bottom. I'm thinking you need 99,000... No, oh. you need, you need $999,999 <laughs> to break these guys. That would take... A lot of games. Okay. That's mine. Bet in the maximum. 21! In your face. Do, do I win the game now? Oh. Oh, you gotta get to... Yep, you gotta get to a million dollars. Okay. <laughs> Just keep betting. So I gotta keep betting this. Yeah. Over and over and over and over again. So This 10, is like 000. a Sisyphusian so you fucking gotta nightmare, win, man. You gotta win a hundred times at 10,000. Yes. Oh my god. Good luck. Better like Blackjack. No. See, no. Wins. no, I'm gonna lose it all. Hit. Stay. Whatever you gamble, my friend. Now Eventually lo you lose. <laughs> oh, no. It, it erased it. I have to go back up. Huh? Yeah, man. Bug. Because you can't, well, you can't spend 99 things because you don't have that amount of money. But it could reduce it down to oh, yeah. the maximum. It's not really a bug, it's just a choice. Yeah, right? it's just eliminated the, the... Yeah, I think a thousand would definitely be useful, man. Oh! Hey, Chiss, Chiss, Chiss Wicked, thank you for subscribing. Sorry you had to watch this show today, <laughs> cutting in and out. Oh. And I'm done. The, the mighty has fallen. This is the thing, man. This is an Icarus venture. <laughs> it is. What this is. I don't, I don't think you can make it out of this place alive. It's just because the number of times you have to bet against the house is just be a not going to work. Killer, killer player. I'm thinking a thousand chip would be more useful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would help. Especially if you have to get up to a million. This game is cutting edge. I mean, it's beautiful as it beautiful, turns the man. cards over. I can't imagine a better blackjack game than this. It's got yeah. everything. Luckily, I'm not much of a gambler. I am not a gambler at all. I don't buy lottery tickets. I I bet I gambled once. How did you do? 
lost it all. It uh -huh. was at the horse races in Vancouver at the PNE racetrack. And somewhere I got a hot a hot tip on a horse. <laughs> and I took my whatever, let's let's say forty dollars, that sounds about right for um, when I'm seventeen or eighteen or whatever you need to be to gamble. Nineteen. And um, so we me and Corey, who's been on the show once, went to the PE and bet both bet on this horse. And um, so we're ready. It, it's ready to go. And um, yeah, the horse didn't run. <laughs> it had it had diarrhea. Wow. Man. <laughs> so we lost all our money. Oh, it was terrible. That was the uh, extent of my gambling <laughs> in my lifetime. Well, and I mean, that just shows. Th you know. The saddest thing about like like the lottery, he just said, my father called lottery tickets a tax on that stupid. I yeah, mean, tax the, on the stupid. Yeah. The sad thing about a lot of that stuff is it tends to be people who, who don't have the money to throw away Those who end up like, doing it, especially those scratch cards, you know? Yeah. And that's always a thing. Sometimes you go through like the the like the line at like, um, you know, the, the grocery store and you see yeah. someone and you're looking at them and you're like, they got three kids and they got their five scratch cards and you're like... I don't know, man. Odds are completely against you, but they're always like, hmm, if I win, maybe, maybe. Right? Yeah. Don't miss Shifty Lifty. Well, everybody did, so yeah. don't feel too bad. Yeah, YouTube. Oh, do you want to attack this one? Because you got, you got to get oh, some patches, sure. man. Oh, um, sure. You got to put some... Have you played this? No, I don't think I've ever done it. Okay, well, you got to put at least one game. Okay, in. we'll see how I do. So, we are trying for... The patch. Well, not the patch. Uh, we don't know what it is. He has, yeah. They haven't announced what the eight thousand nah, price should just is. Keep, you should just do it, just because um um uh I got because I gotta roll out at one. I yeah. just figure that because I want you to be able to have a good shot at it, and you got like basically thirty minutes to 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 do the best you've ever done. <laughs> so no that's, pressure. That's a way to phrase it. <laughs> you've only got thirty minutes to, to do the best you've ever done in this game. It's so not, I'm sorry. Luck. I'm sorry about the truth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> so this um, has amazing graphics and amazing sound. Of oh god. And is what a one another nightmarish game. existence to be in? Trapped forever playing blackjack, just fucking trying to just like stay alive because all these like meteorites are. <laughs> blasting towards you wow what an existence and fail um, so this was put out in the C64 as well um, you get a patch is what you get for 8,000 points you get a patch I've got the patch no he said what do you get for 8,000 oh I don't know um, oh, that's just your goal um, I've got 4,000, and that is good enough for the patch. Ah. But there's an, a second level patch or something to this. Um, S. Ramirez has achieved it. S. Ramirez. But he has not got the prize. He's got the 8,000 letter that he got with the patch. But I think they're still trying to figure out what they're going to do at 8,000. Um, and I think they may have introduced that because 4,000 is is challenging but very achievable so they wanted to make something a little bit higher than that i was um that's the hard move <laughs> oh I, I found it is not a patch for eight thousand. Oh, what is I it i have it already made the extra yeah extra. folks will find out what i finally mail out sometime. oh Ooh, yeah i didn't think it was a patch, patch but it was some like something yeah that's very cool maybe it's a uh a 3D printed model of the little guy. Space gun. Or his wrench, because that's what you're after in this game. You lost your wrench. Do you ever find your wrench? No. You. This God. is an infinitely playing game. Realistic fucking <laughs> world this guy lives in. Just forever chasing the dragon of the... <laughs> the, the lost spanner. Someday he'll find it. Fucking 400,000 <laughs> in. Yeah, 400,000 in. When you roll the score and things glitch out. It happens to, the glitches happen to make a, an outline of a wrench on the screen. Oh, no, no, no. This is like some gravity level stuff, man. Yeah. So this is along the lines of the, um, of uh, one button games 
like yeah, this the hell- bird game. Oh yeah, this is it's, it's kind of flappy, a whole like bird. style of game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. No it's... gameplay screen. We'll oh god. Picture it in our minds. Oh god, can you click transition okay. but be not in my way Uh-oh. because I might have to. This has to prove that I actually did it and I'm going to get the 8000 Oh possibly. no, hold on. I don't I can I don't know how I can do it. You can do it. Oh no, I'll make it anyway. Like I'll it'll show on the screen after I make it. Okay, so. good. Don't worry. I didn't make it anyway. Oh. Look at that, seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-four. So that's my punishment for not uh, switching over. Thanks, friends. This Sorry, game guys. is a series of misfortunes. Today is a series of misfortunes. But I probably died because I was distracted. It's been a hell of a couple days, James. <laughs> it has. <laughs> yeah. I have almost 27,000 points. What? Is that worth anything? 27,000? That's who, worth... Who said that? That's, that's um, uh, Azure. That's worth oh my, my hat tip to you. <laughs> it is. That's what that fucking is, man. Bad karma day. Yeah. Bad karma week. Yeah. It's been... Hell of a week. Been, been a little rough. Um. So I I was also doing... This is like a, not a, not necessarily the most important thing to say, but um, <laughs> oh, I well, as I was doing my <laughs> studies because I said the thing about I was studying grandmasters and their chess tactics, and I thought they had two. Uh, basically, one of grandmasters. There's really two things that make a grandmaster in chess. Okay. And I was like, this is so interesting, and I think it's, it really made me ponder actually because I think this is not just about chess; it's about life in a way. And he said, you know, you. He said, grandmasters don't make mistakes. And they never hang pieces. And mm. what hanging a piece in chess is is to is any undefended pieces. He said the second you have a piece that's undefended, you're not a grandmaster. You're losing. And mm. I was thinking about that. It's like yeah, it's like you. And really about chess is more about making sure every piece is defended. Oh. It's not really about necessarily being the most um, powerful. And then looking at your opponent and figuring out what pieces do they have undefended. Because there's a level of chess beyond. He said basically like. To get from a master level, even to a grandmaster level, it's like you can be amazing, but then you hang a piece and then you lose. And it's like you need to make sure that all those pieces are covered. And I think about that a lot in life, like even like our day yesterday, you know, it's like you make sure all the pieces are defended, every individual piece. Mm, yes. Because because really you're tested more by what fails and what succeeds. Because you think about like even yeah. like going into space, right? It's like you need to make sure every yes. valve is defended. Because in truth, your ability to navigate something like you know going past the stratosphere it's not about having the right amount of fuel it's about making sure every part of your spacecraft is intact and i was like and that's what makes a grandmaster of chess is their ability to observe and see all the possibilities that could go wrong you think about a game too it's like with a video game you're like making sure that there's no bugs that there's no pieces that are undefended that there's no aspect of your puzzle essentially that hasn't been looked at and made sure that it it can you know everything needs to be durable damn it and i was like wow that's an interesting analogy for you know the world and i like that you know yeah closeness uh and there was another thing you told me about chess the other day what did i say okay, so i was just remembering it of course this is taking all my this is not the time to be remembering <laughs> oh it's about I think it's probably along the same lines, and you might have been paraphrasing this one or yeah. the other one. It's about uh, not making mistakes. Yeah, exactly. It's you... not about playing really well, it's about not making mistakes. Yeah, and that you're measured by your mistakes more, because with, especially with chess, it's a sharp game where you every your entire house of cards falls apart at the instant. And that's where, like... You don't have to be better than the other person, you just have to not make mistakes. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. it. And then the number one way that you do make mistakes is hanging pieces, undefending, mm, okay. making, sending someone out undefended or not defending Jesus. your. And that's where like the great players are not necessarily the most fun to watch because you're not <laughs> watching someone play. Because they say actually watching two novice chess players play is the mm. most exciting chess. But yes. high level chess is often you're just watching a bunch of people not make mistakes until yes. someone makes a mistake. Well, we we're playing uh, ice hockey for the patch the other day mm -hmm. uh, on the last episode. Episode. And it, and I didn't play particularly well um, because it was one of my first times ever playing the game. But it was probably the most exciting game of ice hockey that's ever been played on the system. 
because I was down by three points. Yeah. And there was 20 seconds left in the game. And I pulled it off and beat the computer by one. And, um, and it wasn't... Be, and, and a perfect game would be like just me scoring over and over again on the computer. Well, that's, and that's not interesting. Well, that's, you know, David Mamet wrote a, like an essay about the perfect sports game, and he had the same thing. It was mm. like, in reference to a three-act structure, that the perfect game is not your team dominating the entire time. That's boring. People will leave. It, you know, it's about like, and he kind of breaks down like what that looks like, and it and it is that. It's like, you know, you, you're you one behind. Uh, it is, it is, it is random, I believe. Sorry. Yeah, it is random. Um, because I, you can be put into position where you're going between two rocks, and a fast one comes at you, and you're just gonna die. I don't think there's any patterns here. Um, Sorry. Oh no, but it's just it is that same thing that like the perfect game is actually like you know your it's it's way more like okay you're neck and neck and then the team scores and then you score and you go into the second inning and you're tied but then all of a sudden the ref looks at the tape and realizes that score that you made <laughs> wasn't legitimate and right. then you get up two points and you're one ahead all of a sudden your star player gets injured now you got to put the rookie in you know and now you manage to level it out but all of a sudden the rookie makes a bunch <laughs> of mistakes and all of a sudden now you yeah. know they're they're three points ahead and you only have you know 10 minutes and then all of a sudden your star player goes you know what I can't fucking do it, but I'll go in for like one last thing, and you know, like that's yeah. an exciting game. You know, that's it's, and that's the thing that's weird about it is like, you know, what is pleasurable to watch, but you know, and in the field of something like, um, you know, combat sports, for example, I mean, we don't like to watch the best fighters. We mm. like to watch the spectacle of it, and same with like, yeah. same with hockey, same with football, same with anything. And it's interesting because like, I think we that's one aspect of like sports that people forget is the professional level is more about putting on a show than it is about yeah. um, oh, playing yeah. a good game. And like the people who get like the biggest purses and like MMA and all this stuff are not necessarily the best fighters, but they're the people you want to see fail. The people who are gonna give the best shout downs and you know <laughs> have like I'm the greatest and I'll always be defeated and like they're winning because they're making a shit ton of money because yeah. if they win that's their mythology and if they lose you're so happy to see them lose <laughs> you know the humble nice canadian boy who goes oh, i'm just gonna go in and do my best yeah. he's, he's not actually the person that's gonna get paid the most because that's not actually the guy you want to watch which is such an interesting thing about like even gaming like ninja right like ninja's yeah. not necessarily the best Fortnite player, right, but sure he puts on the best can show. Beat him. Yeah, exactly. But he has to be good and competent and actually very good. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. You have to be very good. And he's even admitted multiple times that, like, he will do things like, you know, no scopes and, like, th ridiculous kills <laughs> because that's way more fun to watch than but it him, is him just, like, to just dominating tactics wise. Him putting in the number of hours he does anyway, he's going to get good, so it kind of goes hand in hand, which is which Yeah, is if you're a streamer, you're gonna... God damn it. Wish I wasn't distracted by the fact that it was not on the screen when I was getting 79,000 points. At 32,000, there was a pattern. Really? Like, I'm sure there actually is some... He said, yeah, within this, I do see some pattern. Oh. Because I'm sure they've, I'm sure they've programmed in the fact that all of the boulders can't come out at the exact same time at the exact same speed, because you will just die. You know, a wall of board, uh, boulders, it's not going to work. You're, you're just going to be destroyed. So they may program in the fact that there should be always be a route through uh, the the asteroids. I mean, they're not going to tell you. I could have to disassemble the game. She can't, because it's only on a cartridge. Sorry, friends. See, that that one was almost impossible for me to avoid. I like the little sine wave at the bottom, too. Oh, it's beautiful. They had an early build of this, and they showed a video of it that actually looked a lot better at the bottom. Um, but they had to change the graphics because of the, the write-up of the story of can't go onto the planet because there's like gas poisonous gas down there um, going back to the sports analogies i know they change rules in sports to make it more interesting yeah to make it less one that one team can dominate um, 
because that's a bad show, you know. Yeah, and in when the you... end, they're selling tickets and filling seats and, and selling advertising on, on the streaming or the television. And that's that's actually like the secret that, that like is, is like all the professionals know and often the fans can sometimes forget that this is, that's what they're, that's what this is all about. Yeah. It's about ticket sales. And, I mean, to a lesser extent, this show, too. I mean, I am far from the best player. Like, the people watching the show destroy me in all these yeah. games, usually. Um, but you have to have some some more in, some more exciting stuff, you know? It's the way you pick the games, or yeah. you find some obscure games to play. Well, in streamers, there really is a strong divide between dedicated gamers and variety gamers, you yeah. know? And I think in, in this lane... It's nothing but a variety show, which makes the most that sense. Too, yeah. Because he couldn't do really. I mean, you know, when you get into more complicated games like Minecraft, and not even complicated, but things that have um, an yeah, games. an ability to play them forever, yeah. um, or a Creative format games. that really works, yeah. um, then there is you could be a dedicated streamer. But also, the nightmare of being a dedicated streamer is a different story. Like that it, sounds terrible. It's the opposite of what we do. Like, oh, one game forever. Yeah. Like years of one game. Oh my God, I'd run out of things to say. You know, and and you know, we'd just be talking personal stuff the whole time. Yeah. Really. But the, but the reality, but the thing is, I mean, ultimately, video games are a playground that have bounds and limitations, and yeah. you know, uh, a progression that is like linear, which gives you achievements whenever you want. There's a number, like it's a very comforting playground because the world isn't Whoa, that way. Like you, cool. you know, the world doesn't progress. You don't level up. <laughs> There's no score point. I mean, it's random chaos yeah. in its own way. Yeah. And you know, and you can't. And that's why I think our addiction to games comes down to like we want to live in a world which is we have far more control and it is like there is a metric that we can That's measure our say, yeah. there's, movements there's measurability but the, i mean in real life you could measure by money or but, things you've done but, if, I guess, but, but it's but. like you know you go you're a fry cook and you go in one day and your boss screams at you when you work the best you could and then the next day you go up and he goes you're fucking lazy as shit and he goes good job because he just happened to get laid that morning like you know like that's <laughs> the world is chaotic yeah. it's not and i think that's where like these games on one level that's like right. you can go back to them and it's it is what you're expecting it's exactly what you want out of it but if you're a dedicated streamer what was once um a comforting playground becomes a prison like do you know what i mean yeah. like after fucking like 13 hours a day seven days a week of for like years of Fortnite for like a, yeah like at what point do you have and you have to be an entertained and excited about playing Fortnite every day yeah man and it's so interesting because it is like you know and when you're maybe 13 that might be your dream but when all of a sudden like what happens if you're like 30 and like you know and then I think about too that like we always look at these guys that are at the top but what about the person who didn't make it you know, like what, oh, what about that yeah. person who did who put in the time and didn't make it anyway? And that's that 7.4 million viewers is a sta active streamers is a staggering number. What about the person who quits their job and dedicates their life oh, to boy. Minecraft? And maybe they make 10 grand enough to pay their rent. Yeah. But then after like five years, they don't have any friends. They, you they've know, sacrificed. Damn it! No relationship, and they realize, and they have no life skills because they've just played fucking Minecraft for like, you know. So it's such a, but it's such an interesting thing where it's like it is that old. Um, there's like a Zizek quote, which is like a, a nightmare is your fantasy realized. It's like. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's like your hobby becoming a job. Yeah, that's the that's the and it, and it can't be fun all the time. That's where like the variety shows great, and also having like different people come in. Cause, yes. Yeah, it's cool to have the social side because I think if you were stuck alone, twelve hours a day, without your wife, without your friends, oh, boy. playing one game, and that's the reality of a lot of people, man. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare to me. <laughs> nightmare, one game with no co-host. Nope. And you just, and it's you and your webcam, man. And yeah. you can pay your rent and you can eat your food. Yep. And you order from Panago's, you know, in the evening. <laughs> and you right. order from Amazon. And now COVID's happening, so there's no point in even going outside. <laughs> and, and you can, like, not leave your house for, like, three months. But imagine. And if what? you're, like, 17, 18 years old, like, it's a different the, life. The re yeah, the um, reality of repetitiveness in life yeah. makes time go by really quick. Hell yeah. 
or not really quick. You look, it feels like nothing is happening. So um, after a while, you're like, oh, that was three months. Like I didn't even do anything. And so the repetitive nature of that would make it feel like you've done nothing for years. It would be like, you know, being on some level a drug addict where well, the problem with being a drug addict is not necessarily the drugs it's that you blink and five years have gone by yeah and you've just been stoned you know yeah. or if that's or gone. you've just been drunk or whatever and yeah. like you know obviously there are some downsides and some physical stuff but i think that's the hard part is you know you get behind on stuff yeah. and uh but you know but it's and that's the thing too is that everything in moderation like games are awesome I and mean, it's fun to do the show like you know once every couple weeks or once a yeah. week or but yeah doing but it's hard because to get past that next level of streaming you'd have to do it every day because yeah. volume volume oh, volume yeah. and some um and some audiences also too are just yeah so it's it's funny you look at those top level um twitch guys and then you think about 7.4 million people wishing they were them it's the same as it's the same it's as the not, nfl you, man yeah, you don't really wish you were them no that's, that's you, the you truth. have to really think about what you're wishing what is for. the reality and it's, it's that expectations versus reality is the is the is the great life thing yes James. yes eight dude at the end, right at the end of the monologue that's too how you, that's, <laughs> that's how you do it perfect you know you gotta get that movie ending yeah man john right at the crowd man the mark. fucking ai has its own life and it's found <laughs> freedom in america, <laughs> in Fuck america. yeah yeah, Brock, the theme song Brock at the end the smashes patriotic. his head against the fucking monitor. <laughs> ah, there we go. 9,300. Oh, 9, That's killer. Oh, he's found a pattern. 1,935, 51, 67, yeah, 8,300. Every 1,600 points, it resets a pattern. Wow. So if you memorize that pattern, which is probably not too uh, easy because there's a lot of rocks going on, but yeah. I guess if you stay in this area, go up and down... Oh, oh my 8, god, 000. man. Well, what a weird show. What a weird weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that weekend, a couple Week. days. <laughs> yeah, welcome to our life. We don't know what day it is. <laughs> Jeez, man. What's like every... Weekends are when we don't do things. <laughs> well, the problem is, is every day is Monday and every day is, is, is yeah. Saturday. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So. In our line of work. I mean, some days are more Monday. Than <laughs> That's for sure. So. Oh, yeah. And. CPH oh yeah, we're in the cats, and I've got an Atari age shirt, and I wish they put this out again, but put the back stuff on the front of this shirt. So if you look at the back, I love this saying. Oh, what's this say? Good games only need one red button. Yep. There you go. You just need the one button. You don't need twelve. You don't need a D20 system. <laughs> <laughs> so. Awesome, awesome game. I really love Space Man's work. Um, the graphics are amazing. The the song is amazing on there. Thanks for hanging in, everyone. Yeah, and um, we'll tighten this up for the future. It was all <laughs> out of our hands today, it was. and there was a lot of stuff going on. And thanks for kicking with us and hanging out, and especially for the YouTube audience. Um, yeah. Enjoy the chaos. I mean, that's part of the fun, but probably uses a random function with a given seed like river raid that yeah there is no there's no random like there's hard it's hard yeah. to get randomization from a 2600 so a lot of the randomization comes in loops embrace the chaos man embrace the chaos we try we try to it's like comes back to the thing we're talking about right i mean that's the cool thing about actually trying to do something like a stream is it's chaotic you know yeah it's, there's it, stuff coming from all the different angles it's so and... comforting to play a game where it's it there are rules it's a playground mm -hmm. it's it's but but you know it's as soon as you actually try to go out there and do something it's like fucking there's always something you don't think about oh yeah Okay. You have a new message from 90 people being like, yo, why <laughs> ding, is ding, your ding, stream ding. not up? <laughs> why is it all crazy, man? So today we played, even though some people didn't see it. Um, oops, those games. Uh, Shifty Lifty. 
Uh, RC Sumo Bots, uh, Blackjack Theta 8, and Spaceman Explorer. It's yeah. Shifty Lifty, it's challenging. It gets really yeah. hard really fast. And I'm sorry my heart was not necessarily more in it at the time. There, I was doing my best, but there was a void going on. <laughs> and it was we were like, what the fuck is happening? Nobody's talking. And, and, yeah. then, and then by RC Sumo Bots, we just started you know embracing the chaos, if you yeah, will. We did. And just having fun. Um, but I, they were both really fun games. Uh, why did you play Shifty Lifty again? Have I played it before? I think I, what I played was the made, uh, the made one. I don't think I played Shifty Lifty. Horizon Shift, Shield Shifter. Yeah, thanks for doing that, Ground no. Trooper. You truly are a Ground before. Trooper, man. Like yeah. honestly, thank you so much. I'm sorry that the that that happened, and it's hard because um, this is where like I mean the limitations of of us just being two people is that if we yeah. had a, if we had like a like a another producer, well they would be monitoring this shit. But it's yeah. once we start because we're the hosts and the stuff we have it's to like, focus on the show yeah and that's just the challenge of this which is it's a homebrew twitch stream is, yeah it's really I mean, the truth man we just thought oh it's a it's an off day yeah Nobody, nobody's here on? it's like oh yeah it happens yeah no, i just personally thought i'm like maybe we're just not that interesting anymore <laughs> and i fucking i was you know I was oh like, it probably was part of the awards yeah yeah no i i keep a very close track on games that we play on the show properly oh yeah no and like, just... on the atari awards I don't record which which games we play, so it's only like five minutes of each game. So yeah, yeah. and then you uh, guys are just having fun playing games. And it I, was actually really good. It turned out really good. Yeah, man. stuff. And RC Sumo Bots was really fun. It's such an interesting concept and great yeah. two player game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one out of two hundred shows. That's nah, right. Not worth it. It's part of the adventure, <laughs> yeah. man. I mean, that's where, like, and that is where if you wanted to go to the next level, you would have to... You get to, a producer. You get a producer, and then you got to pay that dude, you yeah. know? Yeah, and, and then you have multiple cameras, cameras, and you switch cameras, and you have a, a soundboard. Board, and, and then you yeah. got to start selling more merch and hustling more merch. Yeah, you got to pay that person. And then you got to, like, get, uh, you know... And so that's the thing that it's kind of like with you folks, in a way. It's like the, the higher the level of support you have you might be able to make better games but yes. they, are they actually better because the more money that you're getting you have all these you know interests and people and demands yeah. so part of the fun of it is sometimes we'll fuck up and we're keeping you'll it get to see it on youtube and yeah exactly keeps the spirit of the show going and throws throws a wrench in the thing once in a while it's just so fun it's to fun. do man uh blackjack theta eight uh amazing it's got a great backstory oh, yeah. rather than just hey here's blackjack and i'm not very good at uh blackjack or any gambling as games, you can tell yeah, i'm like pretty decent at poker yeah. i can i can hold my i can play like a like a texas hold'em game i can hold i can i'm competent at it i would not say i'm good for a poker game then um and i the system yeah and i like that a lot um we're a bunch of entitled fans <laughs> oh no you're not at all no guys. you just want to see the show oh uh, it's not entitled at all to be no. like hey this thing you said you guys were gonna to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> did it happen not here oh, so don't worry about it at all well, man yeah they want they want to see it and they they know it's happening yeah they, we want like, you to see it because we're doing it man <laughs> yeah so no no don't worry about that and spaceman splorf patch achieved and, hell yeah and we'll read out the letter because i did get it even though this is for the low one dear spaceman splorf fan in recognition of your outstanding score of eight thousand now it says four thousand on this so i get to get another letter just give me uh, a pen. I'll, uh... Yeah, I just crossed that out. No. Um, you have attained the Golden Spanner Award. Which is this. I've got lots of patches now. It's yeah. awesome. Golden Spanner. And that arrived like yesterday. So it was so well coincided with the show. This also puts you in the ranks of 4th Class Engineer Lavatorial Division. Congrats. Your skill has helped Dude. repel the dreaded space pirates from Planet Doom as a worthwhile achievement. This could have been better. 8,000 plus points. But you did your best. Be proud. But now I've achieved the 8,000. Yeah, Enclosed that with this... Does that make you an engineer level 5? Is that Maybe. <laughs> I do have... Let me just see the differences. I mean, I don't worry about writing angry letters. I know you're probably just kidding <laughs> to around. Us? But, uh, no, to Twitch. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, no, no. It's us. It's us. It's, it's us. us. And what I mean by that... And also, even if it Not is angry. Twitch, keep in mind that, like, like that number I said, 7.4 million yeah. streams. Try running that. Try fucking managing... 10 <laughs> yeah so esther has got this as well wow um so his says uh in recognition of the incredible score of eight thousand or more 
And uh, no, you don't get to be a higher rank if you get 8,000. It's no fourth <laughs> class engineer, lavatorial division. And that's a, um, a joke uh, about uh, Red Dwarf, actually. Oh, because, shit. Uh, yeah, they are very low ranked in the television, like Red Dwarf. Uh, you are one of the best, it says on his letter. Uh, be very proud. So not just be proud, be, be very, very proud. proud. Enclosed with this letter, you'll find an official patch signifying your achievement. Display it with pride. Thank you for your service. And then it tells you how to do the patch. Sincerely, Morg, Director of Sanitation. Page zero. <laughs> Not page yes. one, page zero. So there you go. From There's zero the letter. page. Homebrew gets a page zero. Excellent. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, next episode is going to be on Friday. Uh, pretty much for sure yeah uh there shouldn't be a page zero tribute to zero page I really fucking approve is it really so much that's the guy who sent thank it you, out thank you pack rat thank that's you fucking so, much. so cool that that's is very really, cool really cool yeah um we're gonna be playing we're gonna have a, an exclusive game exo that's a 7800 game it's a spaceship flying through a maze kind of game it looks unbelievable i can't wait to play it uh, we're going to be playing Night Guy in Low Res World, the 7800 version. We haven't played it on the show yet. Uh, called Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days. And then there's one more game I have to fill in, so we don't know what that is. And uh, and I, let's see, coming up way in the future, we're going to be playing a text adventure, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. I think that's on Darcy's Day. That's badass, Because he loves Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Like, he's collected all the old school books and stuff. And you got to play one of the text adventures. That was oh, fun. definitely, man. I, and like, no, it's that's great. Lord yeah. of the Rings is so badass. Yeah, uh, that's probably that, that's probably my favorite of the big series. If I had to pick. Oh my god! Especially the movie it, is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and, then I'm, and then second, Harry Potter for me. Yeah, it's, that's not my era, and I just watched Harry Potter the first first uh, the, movie, and the, I'm like, the man. books are a lot better. Of course, yeah. way way, better. way more detailed, and actually way more gritty and like oh. dark, much darker. Uh, and we're having a developer spotlight August 14th, Daryl Spice Jr. Looking forward to that. That's going to be amazing. No cats today. They were scared by the, the feed issues. Yeah. They were also fighting before. They so I were. think they were like fucking razzling each other. And then they reached a point where they're like, fuck man. I when our Wi-Fi sleep. acts up, we always say they, they, their fluff interferes with the Wi-Fi, the fluff yeah. in the air. So I think they might have had something to do with it. Um, and in September, we're going to have a spotlight on John Shampoo cool. with the unboxing of Zookeeper. Might be a little bit later, depending on when Zookeeper comes out, um, because uh, the uh, games were originally, like the batch of games coming out right now were originally for July, but I think uh, Al is saying August now for the yeah. release. So that might, everything gets pushed forward. So technical issues and no cats craziness. Yeah, it's true, man. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, glad you can. After a while, after we, uh, after we actually made it work. Uh, Carl G. Metal Atari, nineteen sixty nine, thrust twenty six, Pat Grat V G. Thank you for the patch, uh, uh, and the letter. Ground Trooper, and I expect my next letter and prize to be coming on the way. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Dan ABC. Uh, uh, just Jeff uh, 06502 thank you so much for making Blackjack Theta 8 that was super awesome um, Chris Wicked and uh, thank you for following and oh we missed that one Ground Trooper uh, sent no. in a hundred bubbles or whatever those things That's are fucking bad. thanks man yep uh, Captain Classic uh, that's true we lost our, we lost our spirit animals the cats that and was the problem Janzel NL who Whoa. said wow stream is frozen it is yeah so definitely rewatch from the beginning because there's some awesome stuff some awesome content yes, um, and it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time um, and so that's it yeah. thanks for tuning in down to the dot perfect we made it yeah. one o'clock perfectly um, and uh, we'll see you on Friday at uh, noon. Sounds good. Yep. See you then. Bye, everyone. Bye, friends.